Oh, oh, wait, hold on. I forgot. I have to, I have to do the thing. I have to do the thing. Oh, yeah. I think these are my favorites so far. Hi, <laughs> it is lunchtime now. I just finished filming the Laguna, the G3 Laguna review, and it's lunchtime, I'm hungry. Today we're gonna be taking a look at Deuce Gorgon, which I'm super excited about. He is a Amazon exclusive, so if you want to pick him up, you do have to order him online, as far as I'm aware. Here's the back of the box. It's got the same back of the box as all of the dolls, except for, of course, the artwork right here and then the information about the character. I actually really like the new look for Deuce. I do have an original Deuce that I'm gonna compare to when I get back home. Um, but yeah, I actually do really like the look of the new, well, I like the look of all of the new G3 dolls. I'm really impressed and really happy with G3 for Monster High so far. Um, and normally I don't collect boy dolls. I think the only boy dolls that I liked were Ever After High. And I did like the G1 versions of Monster High Boys, but they were like really, really thin and kind of like, like they get loose joints and they had like strange proportions for, for me for some reason. Um, but I liked the Ever After High ones. This one kind of looks like you might have a little bit more of an Ever After High proportions. So um, I do have a G1 version. I don't have a G2 version, I don't think that I'm able to compare to, but I will at least compare him to G1. I got me a burrito bowl. Who else goes to Chipotle and like gets all of the different salsas? Well, I did that once and then I realized there's one that's just a little too hot for me. <laughs> so I don't get the really, really hot one. And I don't think I get the one with the corn anymore. But um, yeah, I don't know. I, it's been a while since I've had Chipotle and I really like it. I also started changing up my order because I got basically what I have here, which is like the brown rice, the pinto beans, and the carnitas. But I started ordering, I didn't realize you can, when you order online, you have the option to have them go easy on the rice and the beans. So I have them do a little less rice, a little less beans, and then I have them add the fajita vegetables. It's actually really, really good that way. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my lunch really quick and then head home and then switch over to my better camera and we can go ahead and get started on this Deuce Gorgon Monster High G3 review. All right, so I am back on my good camera. <laughs> so let me just show you the box one more time, just so you can see the way that he looks in the box with the higher definition, higher quality camera. So here's the back of the box. I really like that it's like the school. So you see all the lockers and stuff like that. And then up here it says Monster High. Um, and then of course down here it, you know, says Deuce Gorgon and in several different languages. It tells you about Deuce. So his monster type is Ghoulist Gorgon. And with their puns, um, his monster must-haves are sunglasses and snake hair wax. Oh, that's what that little that little thing right there is. It's the his snake hair wax. Anyway, and his monster pet is Perseus. So I don't remember. So when I first got my Deuce, I have a G1. I have a G1 Deuce here that I am gonna be doing like a side-by-side -side comparison. I got him from a thrift store and he was just the way that he came. Um, I don't have his accessories, his diary, any of that stuff. When he first came out, he was not sold by himself. He was sold in a two pack with Cleo. And I think that's just how those two characters originally came out. It was kind of like the uh, Ashlyn, Ella and Hunter Huntsman Forever After High. They were sold as a two pack. You couldn't get them separate. Um, this time around, Deuce is solo. He is by himself. Um, if you've seen the movie or even the trailer for the movie uh, or like the like leaked scenes or whatever, you know that um, Deuce and Cleo had broken up uh, and in the G3 world, also in the G1 world, uh, if you have the um, Haunt Couture dolls, they say in their diary, they mention Cleo breaking up with Deuce or Deuce, Deuce and Cleo breaking up. I don't know who did the breaking, but one, they're not together anymore. Anyway, so 
as of right now, Deuce is single. Um, he is being sold as a solo doll instead of in a two-pack. Um, I did... Did I mention he is Amazon exclusive? I don't remember if I uh, mentioned that before. Um, so I did order him online. From what I can tell, all of the G3 dolls have really good screenings. Um, there have been, I mean, I have seen some pictures of wonky eyes or like factory defects, but they're far and few in between. And all of the dolls that I'm seeing have a really good screening so far like everybody that's showing pictures online from all of the ones that i've seen in stores and stuff like that so i was you know i'm really happy because like i don't normally like to order dolls online for fear of them being wonky eye like my real drama dolls. When I get to Draculaura, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm gonna get him out of the box really quick, just so that way I can take a closer look at him and all that jazz. And you know, we can see all of his accessories, all his doodads, it basically do the review. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, so ooh, I'm zoomed in. Okay, so I've got him out of the box and um, really, I guess I should zoom back in again because I wanna show you the accessories. So I'm trying to show the pets first just because I keep forgetting. <laughs> Anyway, so here is his pet, Perseus. I think Perseus looks so cool. He's like a little biker mouse. Like, he's got a mohawk. He even has a little tattoo of a snake on his arm. Like, how cool is that? Also, I guess his, his arms kind of move. Do they move up and down? Or am I just bending them? Yeah, there's a little bit of movement there. All right. Um, he has two tails for some reason i don't know why but anyway look at his face he's so cute <laughs> i can't wait to get the frankie induced two pack because the uh, perseus that comes with that has a little motorcycle or something for him to ride on and i'm so excited because that looks so cool i don't know i i love i love these these are so cute which is weird. I know I complain about the Barbie uh, pets all the time, you know, saying that they don't need them and whatever. I think it's just because Barbie looks more like a realistic person and not as much of a cartoon character as the Monster High dolls do. But like with Barbie, you've got like this human looking character and then these pets that look super cartoony and super like cutesy and pastel and stuff. And it's like, I mean, they're okay. They're just not, a, not all of them are my jam. Um, when it comes to Monster High, like, like, this is cool. I don't know why. Like, it's cute. It's cartoony, but so is Monster High, like the characters. So it actually looks more appropriate for the doll. And I don't have to justify it. I, I like this one versus some of the Barbie pets. I like this one better. Anyway, um, all of the dolls are coming with a bag or a book bag or a backpack of some kind. Um, he comes with a crossbody bag. It kind of looks like it's supposed to be a fanny pack, but this is definitely a crossbody bag because it's much larger. Does this one open? All of them open. Yep, this one opens so you can still put stuff in it, which is great because he does come with some stuff. He comes with his hair wax or his snake hair wax, I guess. Next up, he comes with a water bottle. I love these little personalized water bottles. I think they're really cute. Um, it's got like a little ring here so he can put it through his thumb so it looks like the doll's holding it. Um, it's got a picture of Medusa on the front because his mother is Medusa. Okay, now does this one open? Oh, this one does not open. It seems to be glued shut or just really, really stuck. So um, I don't think I can open it. But anyway, so he's got like this water bottle or canteen or whatever this is. He comes with a little cupcake, which is so cute because look, the frosting is done up like a snake. That is so cute. And I accidentally found this out, but the, the cupcake comes apart. There's like a little peg in the middle of this. I don't know if this is supposed to come apart, but it's like <laughs> beads. So like you can piece together the little cupcake. And I, I, I wonder, it's like, it's got this shape. So you always put the cupcake in the right spot. But I'm wondering if later, or maybe even with the coffin bean playset, I wonder if it's meant for you to like mix and match and make your own cupcakes or something. I don't know, I think that'd be a cute idea. Oh my gosh, and his phone is so cool. So all of them have their little iCoffin phones and they're like little smartphones. They have apps on them and stuff like that, but they all are personalized to the doll. So it's like they all have their own phone case and for Deuce, it's a little snake. And I love it because the snake has little painted details the tongue and the eyes are painted. That is so cute. And if you've ever read the Percy Jackson books, it reminds me of 
how Hermes has his staff and has the two like snakes that coil around the, the staff and their names are George and Martha and they talk to Percy. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that. I wonder if Deuce has like a little snake friend. Well, actually, spoiler alert, I guess it's not that big of a spoiler, but like um, in the movie, we find out that Deuce does have names for all of the snakes on his head. So he does have little snake friends. But anyway, that brings us to the doll. So here is Deuce. I'm gonna take his sunglasses off really quick just so we can actually see his face. But here's his sunglasses that he comes with. And of course, because Deuce is a Gorgon, he has that stare that can turn people to stone. So he wears sunglasses to prevent from that happening. And these are really cool because, oh, oh wait, hold on, I forgot. I have to, I have to do the thing. I have to do the thing. Oh yeah, I think these are my favorite so far. Yes, I need these in my size. But anyway, um, so he's got like the snakes um, molded onto the sides of his sunglasses. So I was talking about the face screening and Deuce actually has a pretty decent face screening here, especially for like having ordered him from Amazon. I'm pleasantly surprised that I actually got a decent one. So his hair is molded. Once again, the snakes and everything. Um, there is like barely just enough room for him to like have his sunglasses on um, through underneath his hair. Okay, that was weird, but you get the idea. He has this jacket, which I really like. It's kind of like a, cor not corduroy, what is this? Like a denim jacket, basically, with um, real functioning pockets in the front. We love a functioning pocket. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's like got real pockets. It's all like this snake skin printed on. And then he's got like an orange snake that wraps around his arm printed on it. Love it. Love it. Um, he's wearing a sleeveless shirt underneath. It is separate from the jacket. Thank you. And um, it's got this cool like viper or whatever uh, snake on it um, with this cool design and everything. His pants are basically like a black jogger with like a snake skin stripe down the sides. And then on his right side, he has this purple snake. I don't know what kind of snake any of these are. This one kind of reminds me of like a garden snake with the stripes but I, I don't know if it's meant to be like a real snake or if they just decided to give him a purple striped snake on his pants. And then that brings us down to his shoes. His shoes are pretty cool. They're, um, they have a lot of molded details. There is painted details as well. And then of course, his shoes are snake themed. So like, even though they look like normal tennis shoes with like the, the front coming up and everything like this, they are snake themed. So there's this little snake face on the front with little fangs and you can see the eyes and everything so it's really cool oh and then of course little snake heads right here over the tongue of the shoe now from what I'm seeing from Deuce the boy dolls have the same articulation that the older Monster High boy dolls had um, so which is a little bit different than the girl Monster High dolls sorry the Mansters and the ghouls <laughs> so he has movement at the head at the shoulder at the elbow as well as the wrist the hip and the knee but he also has ankle articulation which is really nice and this is the same as what ever after high boy dolls had as well as the monster high boy dolls um, he does not have chest articulation that's the one thing that the new g3 monster high doll the ghouls have that the monsters do not have now i did want to compare him to a g1 deuce now like i said this is one that i got from the thrift store so he's not in the best condition i still need to kind of clean him up because he's got like a paint spot on his thing oh and his his arm keeps coming off just because the jo jo ugh, the joint is loose so I mean it still clicks into place I just have to be careful because it comes off easily so but this is the original deuce um, there is some noticeable differences so hold on I'm gonna take off this deuces jack oh okay his elbow comes off does his hand come off yes so both the elbow oops Okay, <laughs> both the elbow and the hand come off. Now, um, I think before it was just the hands. Um, actually, not the original one. The very, very, very original Deuce does not have wrist articulation. Instead, he had the ankle articulation, which was a weird choice. I mean, later they did give the, the boys the uh, wrist articulation as well. But um, for the longest time, they, I think, I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the, the boy dolls only had detached 
detachable hands. I don't know if they had detachable... Well, maybe they did. They had to have, because his arm literally just came off at the elbow. What am I thinking of? Ever After High. Ever After High did not have a removable arm at the elbow, just the wrist. That's what it was. Anyway, I'm taking off his jacket just so I can show you the articulation a little better. All right, I'm going to take OG Deuce's uh, glasses off. Hopefully I don't get turned to stone looking in his eyes. <laughs> so anyway, here they are side by side. So you can really see what the original Deuce looked like compared to the newer Deuce. Um, I would say that the G3 Deuce Gorgon has a broader shoulder. Like he's more broad. He's got broader shoulders. Uh, the original uh, Monster High dolls were very slim. Uh, by comparison, but when I put them on the table and stand them next to each other, the um, original Monster High dolls are just, the boys are just a little bit taller. I don't know if I can get like a really good picture of this at all, because uh, OG Deuce is so flimsy, and I don't have a another stand I can use. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of it next to each other. So this is the picture I just took of them standing next to each other. So you can see how much taller the G1 deuce is next to the G3 deuce. It's not like a huge difference, but um, the, the new one is just ever so slightly shorter. And then of course, the one thing I like just realized when I got him out of my storage is that the original one doesn't have the wrist articulation. So that's definitely an upgrade for this. Um, plus the joints are so much better on this one like his legs is I don't think he's is he elastic oh he has to be Ooh, he's <laughs> able to do the splits I think he's got yeah he's got full-on elastic legs um, just because this was a, G, a very original G1 Deuce Gorgon um, but yeah no the the new one oh he's got a pretty wide stride there as well um but no the the joints are just very very good range of movement and they hold their pose really well and they just feel really really solid and um with like the older monster high dolls it's hit or miss this one has really good um arm articulation for the shoulder and the the elbow but the hip is super loose and the knee is really good and so is this so it's just the elastic waist thing um but i've had some generation one monster high dolls that won't even hold their arm up because the, the joint's so loose and then some of the g2 monster high dolls their joints are extremely stiff and his arm just fell off and the the joints can some can sometimes be very stiff but so far with my experience with all these g3 dolls that i'm looking at um they are very sturdy dolls and very satisfying to pose because their joints are so well made i think that's something i forgot to point out in the other two videos i've done so far um, but the quality of materials used on these dolls are so good i mean like so good compared to what monster high was in g2 and like towards the end of g1 um, and definitely compared to like barbie um, like right now Barbie Extra and Barbie uh, Fashionistas, like they're doing great, but the, you know, the materials that they use are like, for lack of a better description, they're budget materials. Um, and I know that with any doll line, they usually put their best foot forward when they first come out. And then later the quality may decline over time just to like save on costs with inflation and also with um you know sales and stuff like that i don't know the politics of how all that works but um, I will say that I'm really impressed with these first dolls that are coming out for G3. Plus, I mean, look at them. They look so good. I really, really like the way that G3 looks. Like, the team that worked on this, the team that designed G3 for Monster High, top notch. Like, this is so good. Once again, I am kind of, like, excited to get the... Um, Frankie and Deuce 2 pack. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be collecting every Deuce that comes out because I think for me, one of the reasons that I collect the different um, Monster High dolls, like even if I have a character um, that I already have, like Laguna or Frankie or whatever, um, 
I like it when they have different hairstyles and stuff like that and I and different makeup and faces I have a feeling like part of the reason I don't collect boy dolls is because like I just get one of them and then I'm good after that it's just different outfits they all have the same face and same hair especially if it's molded on hair oh I forgot to show you this so he comes with an apron so all of the G3 dolls come with an extra outfit piece for Gulia it was her beanie for Laguna it was her swimsuit um, for I think most of the characters it's like a jacket or something to add to their outfit for Deuce he's got this little snakeskin apron let me put this on him real quick all right so this is what he looks like wearing his apron um, and uh, I didn't know this because I didn't really watch all of the original Monster High webisodes I watched all the movies like I liked the movies um, I was more into the dolls than I was for the cartoon and I've seen several of them but I apparently in the very very beginning Deuce was into baking and I didn't know that because they didn't really follow up on that they brought it in the like very beginning um, but um, yeah I'm, I'm happy they brought that back because I think that is such a cool personality trait for him that he likes to bake like that is so cool that makes me like him so much more then I already liked him anyway. Um, I also, I don't know if it's purely that he likes to bake and that's why they gave this to him or because he also happens to work at the Coffin Bean. But either way, I think it's cool. And he comes with a cupcake and he has his little apron there. So, oh, I just realized my G1 Deuce has some chipping paint on his eyebrows there. I mean, I did get him at the thrift store, so it's not super, like, unexpected, but... Another thing I forgot to mention, pointing it out, is, like, obviously, like, with the original Deuce, his hair was more of, like, a mohawk, and, like, so was the new ones, and I like that they did that. I think that the mohawk stripe of the um, snake hair is a really cool concept compared to the, like, I don't know, the way they did it in the movie was pretty cool because he had hair, but then the snakes were kind of growing out through in between the hair, um, but... I don't know, I like the mohawk thing a little better. Um, the original one, his are standing straight up instead of over like this. I like this more because it makes him look like he has longer hair and I like longer hair on guys. But um, his hair, it, it's molded, but it's also painted. In the original ones, even I think in G2, I think that they did a gradient for the color. Um, they did not do that at all for G3. So that is one thing that I wish that they would um, improve upon a little bit. Like you've got all the molded details there, but I wish it would just get that little bit of extra, you know, by adding. I mean, it's something I could add myself because, you know, I have the materials to do it. But I'm just saying, like, it'd be kind of cool if they made Deuce have like this little ombre effect or whatever, paint a little bit of extra detail to kind of bring out some this molded detail on this so it'd be it'd be kind of cool i mean like they did such a good job on his face i mean look at like he's got individual brow hairs painted in i love it but um yeah i think that's the one thing that could probably elevate this even further otherwise i think they did such an amazing job on this and i'm actually super excited to have him like if monster high keeps making the manster dolls like this i'm going to be getting a lot more boy dolls in my collection because like these are really cool. I like these. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have for the Deuce review. Um, I am still on the hunt for Toralai. You know, I wanted to try and get all of the exclusive dolls first. So that way I don't run the risk of like missing out because I, I refuse to pay scalpers uh, for dolls that I have the opportunity to get at retail. Um, so I want to try and get Toralai, I've already got Gulia, which was exclusive to Target, Deuce exclusive to Amazon. Now I just gotta find Toralai, who is exclusive to Walmart. Um, and the last time I went to my local Walmart, actually was yesterday, they had a spot for Toralai and even for the Dracul Draculaura Gorgonizer, um, but they were empty. So I don't know if they were in the back still or if they already sold out or what's going on with that. Um, but I'm gonna probably check back in a couple days to see if I can find myself a Toralai. But in the meantime, if you want to see those videos when they come out be sure to subscribe ring the bell you'll get a notification when those videos get posted also if you want to follow me on instagram or any of my other social medias i always leave those down in the description box down below so that way you can just click the link or you know see it's just at chub marvelous but anyway i'm gonna get going for right now i'm tired i'm probably gonna take a quick nap because <laughs> i just had lunch and you know that you know food coma is a real thing i'm like fighting it to try and stay awake right now but it's saturday I think it's gonna be a lazy Saturday. I'm gonna take a nap. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you in the next video. Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. 
I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.